I have carried the manuscript of these translations about with me for days, reading it in railway trains or on the top of omnibuses and in restaurants and I have often had to close it lest some stranger would see how much it moved me. These lyrics which are in the original my Indians tell me full of subtlety, of rhythm, of untranslatable delicacies, of color, of metrical invention display in their thought a world I have dreamed of all my life long. We write long books where no page perhaps has any quality to make writing a pleasure, being confident in some general design, just as we fight and make money and fill our heads with politics, all dull things in that in the doing while Mr. Thakur, like the Indian civilization itself, has been content to discover the soul and surrender himself to its spontaneity. He often seems to contrast his life with that of those who have lived more after our fashion and have more seeming weight in the world and always humbly as though he were only sure his way is best for him. Man going home glance at me and smile and fill me with shame. I sit like a beggar maid drawing my skirt over my face and when they ask me what it is I want, I drop my eyes and answer them not. Amazing.